welcome back to my channel. So yesterday in my video, I was saying I couldn't find the commenter who ended up sending me the lead about Red's mom, and I did come across who it was. It is sugar underscore B underscore a one so i just want to make sure i give her credit and she reveals that red's mom lives less than two blocks away from her so she decided to look more into it and then i was able to find out all that tea and she was actually going to move right across from red's mom at one point but they decided on a different house and after learning this information it makes me want to go look up all the locals near me because you just never know because i would have never expected something from that like red's mom and i don't understand why she would choose to want to come on TV when a lot of that stuff is typically exposed and I'm just shocked it hasn't been exposed before now because if I was like one of the victim's family members and I saw someone on TV I would definitely feel some type of way about it and if you have no idea what I'm talking about check out the video before this one because Red's mom is on the registry and I'm pretty sure you guys can put two and two together and figure out what type of registry that is there's more details in my video before this and I do want to share an update so in my when I was doing all the couples that are going to be returning for life after lockup, I said there's going to be eight couples because typically there's eight to nine couples. They showed us a couple trailers and there's eight couples. So I thought that's all we had. And then we TV decided to drop a trailer literally the next day after my video and realized that we are actually going to have nine couples and Joy Nomi and Red will be returning. And I'm curious if they're going to bring back Red's mom since they already filmed the season. Or if they just cut out her segments all together. But it seems like WeTV doesn't really do anything until fans start applying pressure and their backs are against the wall. So now let's talk about Joy Nomi and Red in this last episode. So Red decided to have Joy Nomi pull up on his mom's house because he wanted to go see her home and say goodbye before he's moving to out of state with Joy Nomi. And Red's mom was asking him like, look, are you really ready to commit and play stepdaddy? And he assured his mom that he's ready. He's made up his mind that he's gonna move and he told his mom that he had some business to take care of. So Red's mom had an extra phone for him that she ended up gifting him. And he was like a teenager getting his first phone for the first time. He was so excited because now he can hit up his bestie and all the girls whenever he wants to pull up on him. He was just posting on his Facebook last night saying, trying to link. And someone's like, you better be careful. Those links can get you into a situationship. And I hope he's using protection when he's doing these little sneaky links. Because otherwise, he might mess around and have a baby just like Joy Nomi did. I feel like the mama knows best and he needs to listen to his mom because his mom knows he's not ready to be a dad right now. He's not ready to be faithful and settled down. And so he told his mom he was ready. And another thing is like when the mom I was questioning why was she being so messy and bringing up Red having other girls send money in front of Joy Nomi but now I kind of feel like she was doing that because she knows that Red isn't ready for this and she was just trying to kill it you know before this goes any further and also kind of trying to test Joy Nomi's waters like are you going to be cool with this long term because obviously he's been doing this in prison and now that he's got more freedom then it's probably just going to get worse as we have already seen. The mom knew what she was talking about. The mom pretty much called it because, spoiler alert, they didn't work out. And I saw Red telling a few people on his Facebook that he's back to living in St. Charles. And that's where his mom's from, so I'm assuming he's most likely living with his mother. So Red ended up saying goodbye to his mom. He got back in the car with Joy Nomi. Joy Nomi was rushing to the hotel because she was ready to get freaky with her man. She's been waiting over seven years on this D. But once they pulled up at the hotel, the only thing that Red had on his mind was getting some alcohol and some crown apples. So he wanted to go see the bar first and he told Joy Nomi, oh, I've been waiting 10 years for this, which I mean, I guess is understandable. I'll get you a little drink first. So he went and got him a drink and then him and Joy Nomi decided to go upstairs and he stopped the cameraman in the elevator which if I was ever on a show that's exactly what I would do because I don't understand how these people be doing full-on scenes taking off their clothes and kissing all over each other 
And you gotta remember, there's a full on production going on. So there's a whole crew there, typically of at least 10 to 20 people, and they're in the bedroom with you, all close up, zooming in on your most private parts and your most intimate moments when you're being the most vulnerable in the bedroom. And I just could not do it. But I feel like probably we TV, like when you sign the contract, kind of like my 600 pound life, whenever you sign the contract for my 600 pound life, you have to agree to do a shower scene. And we TV probably does the same thing. And they're probably like, yeah, well, well, you can come on, but we're going to need at least one bedroom scene. So even though the producers couldn't film it, the next morning, they're going to make sure they got all the deets from Red. So Red woke up. He was cheesing like a mofo. And he said that him and Joy Nomi had an amazing night. He said he ate the kitty cat for over two hours straight. And I'm sorry, if you got to do it that long, then you're not doing it right. And I don't know, this is my opinion. It's his first day out of prison, so I get it. You guys can do it all night long and enjoying it. But if that turns into an everyday thing, I would be so annoyed as a female because after like an hour, I'm like, man, I got stuff to do. Some people are the complete opposite and they can go all night, every single night. But that's just what it's giving me that Red is trying to find. I mean, maybe that's just a one night thing. But if it starts turning into an every night thing, then I think that he's definitely going to start looking elsewhere. Because I think Red wants just to have the girl who's going to let him take her to Pound Town every single night. And he can drink and party. But I think Red's not going to want the party to end. He's not going to want to wake up and be a daddy and work and all that. And that's why this man should have stayed single for a while when he got out and let, it, let him get it out of his system before he tries to settle down and hurt somebody in the process. So, Joinomi ended up taking him to the salon because Red hasn't had his hair cut in over 10 years. So, once he got to the salon, it was going to take about two to three hours to get his hair done. So, Joinomi ended up leaving him and as soon as Joinomi got out of his sight, he took the opportunity to call up his bestie. Honestly, his bestie looks like more of his type. And I saw someone on Twitter describe it perfectly. So what the auntie is to Sante is pretty much what Red's bestie is to him. And he's trying to convince everyone that they're just BFS. But I mean, come on now. We're not stupid. They're calling each other babe. And Red was like, I cannot wait to see you. And she's like, well, am I going to get some time with you? And he's like, well, a little bit. I mean, if that was her, I'd be like, man, why do I just get a little bit of your time? I so Red ended up spilling the tea to the producers afterwards that he started talking to his bestie after he found out Joinomi cheated on him. So this was him getting his lick back. So he claims that this girl has sent him over $3,000 while he was in prison. And I'm like, man, if I would have sent a man over $3,000, I'd be like, man, I should get more than a little bit of your time. So it makes me wonder, since she's not questioning that, is it because she knows about Joinomi and knows she's the side chick? That's the only conclusion I can come up with. So, I just feel like Ryan, he, just like Asante, they have no problem keeping it real with the producers. Well, I have a little bit more respect for Red because Asante really beat around the bush until the producers were like, come on, man, just tell us the truth. That We're not buying it. And so Red is keeping it real with the producers, but he's not keeping it real with Joinomi. But at the same time, I mean, Joinomi didn't keep it real with him. I honestly feel like she would have never been honest with Red about the cheating if it didn't come down to her getting pregnant. And even then, Red did an interview and he revealed he didn't find out Joinomi was pregnant until she was like halfway through the pregnancy and had just found out the gender. So that's it for this video, guys. I did see that Red is going to go live on TikTok tonight. I did see a lot of people in the comments asking him about his mother. So I'm curious if he's going to address that. If he does, I will will be sure to get back with you guys and let you know. Okay guys, I'm back. He finally went live. He was like 45 minutes late. And a lot of people were asking him about what his mom did. He didn't 100% respond to it. Like someone's like, what did your mom do to them kids? He's like, well, if you don't know, then maybe you need to do your research. And he was just saying things on paper don't look the same as what they seem. People were saying, well, she was charged though. It's not like these were just claims that somebody made. And Okay guys, my daughter literally just woke up. I don't want to have to wait till she goes back to bed to upload this video, so I apologize if you guys hear in the background. But pretty much he said he 
he wasn't going to address it. People kept asking him over and over again. And then he just finally said, well, what does that have to do with me and Joy Nomi? But it's like, I mean, your mom's on the show too. And people are going to look into the tea and find out. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below. Check out my lashes and cosmetics at CorinaAmber.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.